I welcome you again to Spiritual Warriors Talk Show, where we prevail against the kingdom of darkness. Spiritual Warriors Talk Show, where we prevail against the kingdom of darkness. And I am Bishop Grace I am your host, and uh, we thank you for always contacting us. Today we want to talk about something that I have touched before, but because of what God showed to me this morning, I said I believe God only wanted me to, to talk about it. As I was waking up, I saw a wrist, somebody's wrist with a bangle, something like a, it's a bangle, not uh, you know decorated with, with this. Uh, with, with, with pearls like this one. But it's just it's, it's a metal bangle. And the two ends of the bangle were like a knob. I don't know if, I mean, some women, they are used to that. It's a silver, like, it's not even silvery because it's not shiny. But it's something like a, a metal, like a dull metal. You know, looking like, a, I, I don't even know what, what kind of metal to call it. But it's not, it's kind of silver, but dull kind of silver and the end of it is just a metal it was it doesn't have any decoration on it and the ends of it you know is, is like a knot ended you know both ends like this that you can slip in and just slip into your head and i saw it and i was looking at it for a while and i was and, and I, I i thought uh, you know, I, I was really looking to see something, an inscription, an inscription that was written. But at some part of it, I saw a little inscription that was on it. And as I was trying to look at the inscription properly, I, 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 I came out of that, that, that sight. It, it just, you know, disappeared in my face. And what resonated in my spirit is that there are some wares out there that people put on. That, 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 that put them under bondage. We have spoken about this before. But God wants me to emphasize on it in terms of whatever you put on, sanctify whatever it is. And look at the inscriptions that, that, that come with them. If it is something that says um, your guardian angel, for instance, there are some pendants that have guardian angel on it or that have black magic or something that's shaped in terms of a uh, 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 serpent, or, or some uh, 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 crocodile, or things that, you know, like a uh, uh, lizard, or I mean, a reptile of all kinds of nature, and uh, sometimes insect, you know, something like that, and, and, and they have it on, you know, they engrave these things on this, this, this item. They are idols. Oh. I want to read Acts chapter 19 from verse, from verse 17. I'm going to take it from verse 8, 17. And this was known to all the Jews and Greeks also dwelling at Ephesus. And fear fell on them all, and the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified. And that was those who... Uh, the, 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 the sons of Skinos that ended them, and what happened after that? And many that believed came and confessed and showed their deeds. And what are those deeds? Many that believed they came and confessed and showed their deeds. Many of them also which used curious arts, curious arts, brought their books together and burned them before all men. And they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. So mightily good the word of God and prevail. What am I saying? The items that you might be using that you might have spent so much money on. And I'm talking about it again because this thing is just there. Sometimes people don't like to throw away things because they spend so much money on it. But I'm saying to somebody, if you have those things made curiously, 
things that are made from I mean, uh, it, it said it's, it, it's called curious art. He said many of them also which use curious arts brought their books together and burned them all uh -huh, before all men. These things we had to collect them many years ago when we just started ministry. This mission field. I'm here at this mission field. When we just collect, when we collected all of these people, brought all of these things, some of these, these items, no matter how small they can be, they might be causing you sleeplessness. They might be making, they might cause you your sleep, I should say, and make you to be sleepless in the night. They might be running after you. They might be causing all kinds of chaos and mayhem in your life because they are satanic properties. Satanic properties. So I'm talking about the, the thing, items with signs and symbols. Items with occult signs and symbols on them. I started occult signs and symbols some weeks ago. And, and, and God started giving me some other revelations and telling me some more things that I, 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 I kind of slowed down on that path. And no, I'm taking it all back now. Some occult signs and symbols. So, and I'm saying, check what you wear. Check it properly. It can be a ring, ring finger. Sometimes, you know, you, you, you no more wear a ring. Maybe some, some, somebody gave it to you, somebody dear to you gave it to you, and long after that, you still feel that you are, I mean, the impact of it is right there. It can be a bracelet, anklets, all kinds of things on your toes. It can be ring, to, to, you know, some rings, little, little rings on your toes, and so on and so forth. And God is saying, in fact, I'm hearing bra. Maybe sometimes they might put something on bra, they put it everywhere in order to get people to be in bondage. But let your eyes be open. Hear what the Lord is saying, that all those things, they are to be destroyed. You are not supposed to keep them with yourself. Throw them away. Even panties that you wear, even belts that you wear, all, all kinds of things. Somebody, just a few weeks ago, somebody's ear. I mean, I didn't know anything about I mean, I, I just saw the person in a trance came into the, the service. And then I saw the wig just left her hair. It was just being pulled, being pulled. Something was pulling it up, pulling it up, pulling it up. And I told this person. And right, the person came in the church just as I have seen this person in a trance. And I said, but I see the artificial hair pulling up, pulling up, pulling up from your head. And before this time, this person has been having some serious headache, serious headache. And this headache grabbed her more when she's trying to come to church. And to the extent that she just called and said, you know, I can't come to church because I'm having serious headache. And as I said it to her, and I said, right now, the thing is in, your, in that hair. And I rebuke it in the name of the Lord. And I told somebody, anoint her hair for me. And while the person was anointing the hair, the thing left. And she said, but something just left my head. Something just left my head. I'm saying to someone, check yourself. Maybe what the problem that you are going through right now is as a result of something that you have in your possession. Check the rings. Check what the inscription that is on it. Don't just go and buy anything and just put it on. Because Jesus wants to set you free and you shall be free. This is spiritual warriors. Talk to you. Where we prevail against the kingdom of darkness. We'll be breaking in a short while. And when we come back, we we'll continue. God bless you. Amen. This is a spiritual warrior show with your host, Bishop Grace Adigold. Christianity is not a play play thing, you know. So, any of you coming at this, you have to know, say, warfare, I go go on. Devil always, I go try and mash you down, mash you down. But, with Jesus by our side, we have all the might and power that we need. So, when you ready, time for the soldiers march out now. Hey, shake it. Getting really tired of the wicked brutality, the nasty immorality infecting the land. This mentality is quick on immortality, and personally, I don't think that this is the plan. Everybody watches while the clock tick tocks. There's a brood in a war that nobody can stop. Make up your mind, better. You are welcome back to Spiritual Warriors Talk Show. 
where we prevail against the kingdom of darkness. And I am Bishop Bessanigol, in case you are joining us for the very first time. I've been talking about some occult signs that you might have on items that you are wearing. Because once they are description, an occult description is put on that thing that you have. Juries, all kinds of things. Even I'm, I'm hearing soap. Even soap that you bathe with. Check it out properly. Even uh, uh, something that you, you, you lotion your body with. Check it out properly. Anything at all that you use, check it out properly. Anything that you put on your body that you didn't, you weren't born with, check it out properly. It can be braces. Check it properly. Anything at all. Because the devil is looking all over the place seeking who to devour. And I'm telling you, those who are selling in the market, the market product and all kinds of things, people are looking for the, 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 the quickest means to get wealth, to you know, make it and make money and all those kind of things. And by the time they put those things on those items, they are attracting customers to themselves and they are selling it, but then they are ruining, ruining your life. Check everything that you have, and Jesus shall set you free. Persons have come and while praying for them right here, things were just being broken off from their body, just like that. Or some people just pull it off, just pull it off, just pulling it off. I didn't tell them to pull it off, and people just praying for them. And they are saying, please take it off, take it off, take it off. And there are some spiritual idols. <laughs> I'm hearing these, these are idols, they are idols. There are some spiritual stuff. That people don't see with their naked eyes, but they are there. So there are some anklets in the spirit realm. There are some bracelets in the spirit realm. There are some, some I don't know what to call the one they put on the navel. Uh -huh. In the spirit realm, there are some are put on their tongue. Uh -huh. some, some rings on the, the tongue. Uh -huh. Or on the lips. Uh -huh. In the spirit realm. You don't see it in the body of the people physically, but in the spiritual realm, they are there, and especially those who have become uh, uh, queens of devils. Those who demons have married them, you know, people can easily become a, 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 a spouse of Satan, or, or, or you can easily take on spirit spouse without you knowing it. All you're going to be sensing is that when you go to sleep, something is coming to sleep with you. You are in the house and somebody, something, there are presences there, and you are wondering what is that and who is that. But you don't see it. It's like somebody passed in front of you, beside you, behind you. Sometimes you see shadow. Oh, Jesus, help us now. Oh, Jesus, help us. The shadow one. Wow. So I want you to... Be careful. I want you to do. Once you are seeing those things, then you know that you need deliverance. Once you are seeing all these kind of things, even I'm, I'm hearing the bottom wear, bottom wear. You have things right there that the enemy put there and attach itself to it, and will not allow you to sleep properly. And they'll be coming and they'll be tormenting you if you don't stop it on time. When you start to sense this thing. If you don't look for help, and when I'm saying look for help, I don't, I'm not sending you to some necromancy place. I'm not sending you to some Bamiyad place. I'm not sending you because they're going to put even more into your body. They're going to be, oh my God. Some people are loaded, loaded, without them even knowing it. But they sense all kinds of things, evil attacks that are happening to them, and they don't know that the devil put everything there. A witch came some years ago needed help because she was under torment. You know, Satan has nothing good to offer anyone. Even if Satan makes you his queen, he will be tormenting you. Every little thing that you do comes with torment. And so she came because she was under torment. And when, we, when I started to pray for her, oh my God, she was on the floor, she was rolling, and by the time I said now, because God said to me, she's wearing all kinds of things all over her body. God said to me, tell her to take them off. I said, now take off everything that you are wearing. And she started to pull from her hair. She pulling things off that I could sense, I could see that is a crown. She put her finger to the front, to the side, 
side and to the back and, uh, 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 and put it off. You could see that it was a gadget that she took off. Uh -huh. And then she went and put off the, the, the eyelashes. Oh my God. And she, she stripped it off. I was like, what is this? What is that? But I could sense, I could see what she was pulling off. Oh my God, from her tongue, she pulled something off. Uh -huh. From her, her teeth, she pulled something off. From her lip, up and down. She, I could see how many things that you know the devil has decorated her with in the spirit realm. And then she started to pull off earrings and earrings and earrings and earrings. And when she started to do that, I was like, oh my God, how many earrings? And this is what people don't know. When fashion comes out, when people start to do certain things, don't run at times. Don't rush at times. Pray about it. Is this fashion fashionable? Or is demonic bondage? Ask God. And God is going to show you because there are some curious works that are done under the earth. Some in the sea. And the devil put them out. And people started to take those things and go after it. Uh -huh. Like, oh, this is the in thing. People used to say the in thing. You better be careful about the in thing. Because those things, some of them are coming, as I said, from the occult world, from satanic world. And uh, I'm hearing some satanic implantation, some satanic implantation in some people's bodies. And you are having problems with that area of your being, yourself, and you don't know what is it. Why do you feel pain in that area? Because there is satanic implantation. And I say right now, and I speak right now, that any satanic implantation in your body, I pull it out, I dig it out, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And I'm hearing that some people are always having miscarriages, miscarriages, because there is satanic implantation in their bodies. In, in, in their bodies, in their private part, the devil planted something right there that every child, every baby that, 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 that is coming up, every pregnancy, as they reach certain age, you, they, they, you, you must miscarry them. And so the devil put something there. And I'm saying right now, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, I put it out. Hallelujah. It might have come Amen. as a result of something that you wear. Something that you put on, a lifestyle that you have taken on, and it's like nobody can, 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 can take you off it. It's for your good. It's for your own well being. And I'm saying to somebody, check yourself. You know, sometimes you feel something around your, 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 your knee, around your ankle, around your wrist, around your waist. Oh, Jesus, when we come back, I'm going to be talking again about the waist. Oh God. And how Satan, how, how, how uh, serpent can wrap around somebody's waist and be causing them problems. And they will not even know that it's there. Oh Jesus Christ. I was doing a deliverance just a few days ago. And God was saying to me, the waist, the waist area, the waist area. Hallelujah. And when I pray against that waist area, hallelujah, I could see the, the, the person just twisting and you know, just, just like that. And the thing left me. And I'm saying to someone, check everything, everywhere you feel some strange movement in your body. Check it out. Some, you need deliverance. Some occulty stuff. Some things. Maybe you wear something, maybe you put it on yourself by wearing things that you should not put, I mean, put on. Check it out. Because Jesus can't set you free if you allow him to set you free. And so when we return from break, this is spiritual warriors talk show where we prevail against the kingdom of darkness. And I am to show this and the goal. When we come back, we're gonna be talking more about this. Okay. Christianity is not a play play thing, you know. So any of you coming at this, you have to know say why fear I go go on. Devil always I go try and mash you down, bash you down, but with Jesus by our side, we have all the might and power that we need. So, when you ready? Time for the soldiers march up now. Hey, shake it. Getting really tired of the wicked brutality, the nasty immorality infecting the land. This mentality is quick on the mortality. And personally, I don't think that this is the plan. You are welcome back to Spiritual Warriors Talk Show, where we prevail against the kingdom of darkness. And this is Spiritual Warriors Talk Show. 
and I am your host, Bishop Chris Adigo. We're talking about occult signs and symbols or things that you wear, that you put on yourself, on your body, and the enemy sneak in as a result of that in order to destroy. Because John 10, 10, I always use that, says, the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. But Jesus has come that we might have life and have it more abundantly. And we just celebrated, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, his, his, his passion, the passion, his death, and then the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And we, as we said, always put the cross as an empty, empty cross, not that somebody is on the cross, you know. And sometimes you are wearing something and you see an upside down cross. When that happens, it's an overall sign. Or you see something that, you know, that is just not proper. As a matter of fact, our cross, in terms of Christianity, is empty. You might see the, 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 a robe, you know, a piece of robe, you know, cloth, put on it, just, you know, show that, you know, the, the piece of the, 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 the cloth that, you know, Jesus used to, you know, throw on himself uh, a blood, especially red, you know, that he would put on it just to show that. You know, but not that Jesus Christ was still there because if he was still there, he would not resurrect. And so it's a, it's a, a, a contradictory message that they are given to you. And the devil always wants to mock our Lord Jesus Christ. However, I was talking about uh, around the waist. Around the waist. Sometimes you put on something around your waist. I don't know what you, know, you have used. It can be a bell that has an inscription that is not good. It can be anything. Anything from the occult world, anything at all. And there are some things sometimes you might not carry any inscription on them, but then they have been soaked, my goodness. They have been soaked in some evil parts. And so there was a day, this, this, this lady came and, you know, I, God ministered to me that something around her waist. And by the time I started to pray for her, I saw her, her, her legs just flipping, flipping, and I could see the movement of snake. And when I prayed against the serious snake, Moved, moved from my waist and left her. And I'm saying to someone that this evil spirit, they can mar they will marry people, and which was what and they, they can drop in all kinds of things. So that things that you never felt before, you begin to feel them. This lady said she don't know how the Zionism was came to her, to the extent that it was trying to expose her at work, and people are kind of talking and you know. Uh, to one another about her, like why you know you have to be careful with her and so on and so forth. But she was safe. And sometimes it can be anything, anything at all. You read something, some 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 pornography, or some all kinds of things that you bring to yourself that are not good. Reading, pharmacy. I'm hearing pharmacy. Some people read some things, some, some uh, you know some scriptures in your head. Oh my God! There was a young man who told me that she discovered that, I mean, sorry, he saw himself, uh, you know, looking at his palm one day and could read the life of a woman that was coming towards him. He could read the life of the woman coming towards him. He said he, he stopped the woman, it was in a marketplace, and said, but I am seeing that your life is this and that and stuff. And the woman said, yes, yes, how do you know, how do you know? And he said, but, you know, this is what I'm seeing. In my head. And from that day, he pulled away from church and would go to the marketplace downtown to go and be reading for people. Just like that. And I said to him, but that is not right. We need to destroy it. Destroy it. It is not a good thing. It will lead to poverty. It will lead to imprisonment and imprisonment. You know, the devil always push people to the prison. He use all kinds of methods to do so. By the time the person, you allow that and you, you think it's a good gift and you are doing it, you are naive. Ah, because why? The devil will be bringing things across your way that are problematic. And before you know it, it can be found around, I mean, some gangs and then they just wrap them up and just carry them. And before you know it, they go and lock them up. And before you know it, nobody will bail it. Before you know it, you go to prison. And plus all kinds of things. And let me say something. 
It can be something that is coming from implantation, that is coming from some activities that you put yourself into, or you might have inherited it. But I'm saying to you that Jesus can set you free. If you find yourself, some things strange are happening to you in your life, then call on the name of the Lord. Let him turn your life around. Do not keep it to yourself and say, oh, you know, this thing is good, you know, because I can know, I can, I can, it's demonic powers, it's satanic guidance, satanic powers, it's satanic indulgence. Do not keep it to yourself. Let Jesus set you free. I've told you about even glasses, even reading glasses that have been sold, that have been dipped into some evil, and it's causing all kinds of things. It's like when you put it on, it's like you're having a mask. I mean, uh, yes, over, over your head. Now you are having masks. Everybody is wearing masks. Uh, but it looked like that time we were not wearing masks because there was no coronavirus. But it's like there's a mask there. Sometimes the eyes bulges out. And you are like, oh my God, but what is that? But God said, check the eyeglass. Check the eyewear. Check the eyewear. So maybe something is around you. No matter how expensive it is. No matter. If you cannot remove it, or pray and consecrate, but if it is inscribed on it, if that thing is already engraved on it, then you cannot take it up. You cannot take it up. It's like dedicating that thing to Satan. It's like dedicating that thing to demons. And wherever the gadget or the anything that belongs to Satan is to demons, they're going to be coming for it. They're going to be coming for it. And so do not keep those things to yourself. And right now I'm, I'm hearing that you should Target your wears. Look at what you wear. Look at what you use in your hair. Look at everything. Even food that you eat. Food that you eat. Pray. I have spoken about food in the past. And I'm saying it again. Check out the food that you eat. Because people can put anything in your food. But the book, the, the Bible says in the book of Mark chapter 16. It says, this sign shall follow them that believe in me. He said, in my name, they shall cast out devils. He said, they shall speak with new tongues. If you take anything poisonous, it shall not harm you. They shall lay their hand upon the sick and they shall recall. And so, when you are eating a contaminated food, before you eat any food at all, pray on it. That if there is anything inside that food that is not of God, you break it, you pray against it in Jesus' name. I'm hearing in Sobia. Somebody cannot sleep in the night properly. Insomnia. Somebody cannot sleep in the night. Check your wares. Check what you put on. Maybe that is the thing. That's the reason why you cannot sleep. I'm going to be praying right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying from shore to shore, the island of the sea, and places where they are hearing my voice right now. I break the power of evil in the life of the people. Based on whether they are wearing something that has an evil inscription of occult signs and wonders, I come against the signs of the enemy in their life. Some people actually carry some inscription on their body for Satan. Oh my God. And I'm talking about not only the tattoos that you can see, there are some tattoos in the spirit realm that people don't see with physical eye. I pray against every inscription of people's body, whether in their forehead, whether in their navel, whether in their, in, in their shoes and they don't know wearing it, whether in, in their feet, anywhere it is. I come against it in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Father, set your people free in Jesus' name. Amen. And I'm saying, if you need further help, call 823-9365. Or 898-3357. Jesus shall set you free. And I am Bishop Adigo. And thank you for being with us, staying with us at Spiritual Warriors Talk Show, where we prevail against the kingdom of darkness. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Christianity is not a play play thing, you know. So any of you coming at this, you have to know say warfare I go go on. Devil always I go try and mash you down, bash you down. But with Jesus by our side, we have all the might and power that we need. So, when you ready, time for the soldiers march up now.
Hey, check it. Getting really tired of the wicked brutality, the nasty immorality infecting the land. This mentality is quick on immortality. And personally, I don't think that this is the plan. Everybody watches while the clock tick tocks. There's a brood in a war that nobody can stop. Make up your mind, better choose your spot. Cause I left the devil hanging and destroyed his blood for my life. By the blood of the lemon, our testimony, we shall overcome.